Hi everybody, this is Will Bowen with today's Jumpstart. Well, today I want to share with you someone you may not have ever heard of. Uh, he is a corporate infotainer. That's what he has done for a number of years. He started as a magician in uh, restaurants as a teenager, and then he went on to become a motivational uh, mentalist that does corporate events. And he was so successful at it that he now teaches speakers, such as myself, how to get more opportunities to carry your message to people on stages around the world and make a living doing it. His name is Benji Bruce. He's awesome, there's nobody like him. I've had several other people I've bought programs and done. His is the most direct, perfect system. It's a system and if you do it and don't deviate from it, it just works. It totally works. One of the things that I love about Benji is that he does a daily webinar and uh, for the people who are members of this program. And uh, so I tune in a lot of times. If not, I'll watch it later on. And he noticed something and I promised if you read the description for this uh, video blog I'm doing today, this jumpstart. If you read the description, I said I'm going to get in your face a little bit because I'm actually going to quote Benji because Benji has a way of getting into people's faces. Now, what I've discovered is Benji has no time for people saying, well, I'm going to get around to this and I'm going to figure this out. Benji's like, no, you do it. You do it now. He always says an entrepreneur's uh, superpower is their ability to figure things out. So it's get going. Well, uh, frequently, Benji does what he calls boot camps, where it'll be like 14 days. And in 14 days, you're supposed to be online with him every single day. And during that time, he will walk you through how to set up your website, but you've got to do it that day. The whole website start to finish that day. The next day, he'll walk you through how to do your presentation, but you've got to do it that day and submit it back to him. So he doesn't take anything from people who say, well, I'll get to it, etc. And you know why I think this is great? Is that something I've discovered, most people don't burn out in life. And this is an important thing I'm sharing with you. Most people don't burn out, they time out. Even the people who have great goals, they time out because they never take daily action towards them. They have reasons and excuses and rationalize, they rationalize, they tell rational lies as a way of convincing you and themselves as to why they haven't done what they've said they wanted to do. And in the end, they simply run out of time. And Benji calls this, no offense, I'm quoting Benji, bitch mode when everyone else is doing their stuff and contacting leads to get speaking events, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Some people are always like, well, I would love to do this now, but my sister's in town and whatever. And, or, or, you know, I can't figure out how to use a phone, <laughs> an iPhone, and you want me to record videos on an iPhone or whatever it is. And they start whining instead of doing it. And Benji says, this is my quote from Benji. You keep talking, but all I hear is blah, 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 bitch mode. Let me say that again. You keep talking, but all I hear is blah, 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 bitch mode. Now, bitch mode like a person who's a bitch? No. What they're doing is they're bitching about life. They're literally complaining about life as a way of rationalizing where they are. Remember that two of the five reasons people complain are remove responsibility. You give somebody a task, they bitch about the task so they don't ultimately have to do it or they lower your expectation as to how they're going to do it. And as a result, they don't have to put as forth as much effort. That's one way that bitch mode is uh, people use complaining is to remove responsibility. The other is to excuse their poor performance. After you've given someone a task, if they blow it, then that person will bitch about their circumstances as a way of justifying their lack of accomplishment. You keep talking, but all I hear is blah, 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 bitch mode. And I tell you what, it shows up in my uh, Facebook uh, community as well. And I'm like, you know what? I totally get that you have whatever issue this is because I have issues too. We all do, you know, pains and whatever, you know. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had a rib head out from lifting weights. 
I still needed to record these jump starts. I still needed to do the synopses. I still needed to do all the other myriad things I did. I didn't just lie there and go, I can't do it. So if you've got an issue with pitch mode, check it out. Watch it today. Watch if you make yourself a victim as a way of getting out of doing something or getting out of doing it well. And instead, turn it around and challenge yourself and be in best mode instead. Enjoy today. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.